The Happy Minecrafter, a guide to sustainable living in your own backyard in Minecraft. Hosted by JDMac020. Created and developed by Jonathan MacGregor. And now, let's go to the show. Oh, hello there, happy watcher, and welcome back to The Happy Minecrafter filmed on location here at the estate and today as promised we are going to do some cooking that's right we're going to uh, explore different ways to live your lifestyle of choice be it uh, omnivore or vegetarian or uh, even some vegan options to uh, all, all to help you stave off starvation and death here in in Minecraft because dying in nature is probably the worst use of your time in in Minecraft that's just everyone wants to avoid that so we're gonna show you how to keep your tummy full now as you can see we did some work on the kitchen area we added we didn't add I'm sorry we did add this counter what I was going to say was we added the stove. The stove was not added. We simply moved it over to this column here to make room for our new quartz countertop. Very snazzy. A lot like marble. Very classy. We'll uh, keep the microbes at bay. It's not going to soak in and create infections like with a uh, wood countertop sometimes it can happen. We also added a sink that's just a cauldron with some water folks it's largely decorative uh, our crafting table still in the corner but because it doesn't really fit the kitchen theme we uh, stuck it there so we can just see the top and access it when we need to and um, over here we added a second cupboard refrigerator whatever you want to call it uh, to fully outfit the area because uh, most of this was potions and tools and things that are just accessible not really food related and uh, before we get going I think we need to talk about the difference between hunger and saturation now the difference between hunger and saturation saturation is a separate measure that starts it's like a countdown timer for when hunger starts as you can see I currently have three hunger but what you can't see is I also have zero saturation once I eat three meat pops worth of food my saturation level will begin to climb once it's full, once I have both full health and full saturation, only saturation begins to go away. It's a countdown timer to getting hungry. In the real world, that would be, you know, right before dinner time when your stomach is empty and you start, you know, it might be growling, you'll be feeling the hunger pains, you'll know that you're hungry that's because your real life saturation is gone so the key thing to remember is that every kind of food you can eat has a set amount of hunger that it replaces and also a set amount of saturation that it provides for instance cookies they only provide two meat pops but they also provide almost no saturation so you could eat 10 cookies fill your hunger back up but then be hungry again just minutes later from doing almost nothing because your saturation level was so low whereas eating some steak will replace four of your meat pops and then fill your saturation almost completely full again so a much longer time until you need to eat based on what I just told you happy watcher I think what we're going to do is start with the most cost-effective food the best recipes if you're trying to restore 
both hunger and make sure you're fully saturated after you eat. So we won't be baking any cookies today, I'm sorry to tell you, but um, we will start, I think, um, we'll start with some rabbit stew. Yes, let's go in here and see what we've got prepared. A rabbit stew, um, we're going to need some rabbit, a potato, a carrot, uh, any mushroom, you could use a brown mushroom if you wanted to use brown mushroom, uh, and, and a bowl. That's what you need. And we're also going to need some coal. Let's go ahead and take some coal because we're going to have to bake some of this, this stuff here. So once you have your, your carrot, your potato, your rabbit, and your mushroom, um, the first thing you're going to want to do is put your rabbit on to cook and your potato. Ooh, I've been smelting gold on to bake and we're gonna wait for that because whoop, rabbit cooks quickly that's a plus because that's one thing to remember rabbit by itself only does a couple of meat uh, meat pops only a little bit of hunger restoration saturations okay it is protein but um, it's not it's not great but when you combine it with other items for instance our make our stew here, the, uh, the the ability goes way up. Oh, I gotta get it in the right order, don't I? This is complicated. Baked potato, carrots. Hold that thought, happy watcher. Now that we've refreshed ourselves on the recipe, let me tell you, this is a specific recipe. It's not like stew or mushroom stew where you can just throw all three ingredients together helter skelter and it will work out. That's not how this works. To get rabbit stew you must start with the bowl on the bottom. Think of the baked potato as the thing that's holding everything together. Carrot on the outside, mushroom on the other side, that's uh, any mushroom will work. A brown one could do just as well. I just like red ones. And here are the cooked rabbit on top, kind of the crowning achievement. And that will give you rabbit stew. The awesome thing about rabbit stew is it will restore 10 hunger points, which I believe is half of your hunger if each meat pop is 2 points. And it'll also restore 12 saturation points. So it goes a long way for, towards preventing your next round of hunger. It not just it, it it's very filling. It's not just uh, empty calories. It's very filling. Our next item is also not vegetarian or vegan friendly, but it is very filling. Uh, it's a pork chop. So you take a raw pork chop and you put it into the furnace and you cook it. It's very simple. Um, it's really, pigs in general don't have a whole lot of extra uses. So this is really a good point to have them around for simply because a cooked pork chop will restore eight hunger points, just, just two less than our rabbit stew, but it will restore 12.8 saturation points. So it's very filling. You eat pork chops, you're going to really reduce the amount of time that you spend being hungry. And that's really all there is about pork chops. And now we get into some of the vegetarian options. Now the next, uh, one of the better options, especially for vegetarian fare, is the golden carrot. So, um, this one's pretty simple. You just need to get carrots, which can be complicated. You gotta get a special drop or trade for them in a village. I, not everyone can get there, I understand. But once you have carrots, you simply get a carrot, get a block of gold, and uh, make gold nuggets. And then you surround the carrot with the gold nuggets, and you get a golden carrot. And the thing with golden carrots is they will restore six hunger points 
which is pretty good for um, vegetable only. There's no protein there. And it'll also restore 14.4 saturation points. So it's very filling once you do fill up that hunger. It will restore your saturation level. And finally, our last thing we're going to cover today is mushroom stew. And mushroom stew is fairly simple. You need one of each mushroom and a bowl. It's definitely vegan friendly. And uh, the, the big thing here, it doesn't restore so many points. It's, uh, it only restores six hunger points and only 7.2 saturation. So it's not the best meal out there. It doesn't stack. Stews do not stack. The rabbit stew will not stack and the mushroom stew will not stack. So it takes up more space in your inventory, but it is vegan friendly. And if we are looking at a sustainability standpoint, um, you don't need to kill rabbits. Uh, you don't need carrots or potatoes, which can be hard to come by, especially early on in Minecraft. Um, you also, pigs themselves, in order to breed them, you need carrots. So unless you have a steady supply of carrots, our first three options really are going to be difficult for you. So I wanted to make sure that even uh, our, our freshly starting out people here will be able to reach out and get something of value. Because uh, the, out of these four options, three of them will directly or indirectly require the use of carrots or killing herds of pigs without reproducing them. And that's just not very sustainable. Now, is it Happy Watcher? Alrighty then, Happy Watcher. You've watched us make four recipes here at the estate, uh, three of which are fairly advanced but have some very strong potential to restore your hunger and saturation. So I would advise everybody, if you have not yet, locate a source of carrots. Make sure you make that a priority in your your success gardens. and. Um, that's really all there is to it. Now I'm sure everybody noticed that I was kind of hungry there towards the end. Um, let's go ahead and turn our, our F1 mode back on. I'm going to have some stew, some rabbit stew, because it's pretty tasty and very filling. I believe you should remember that. So let's go ahead and uh, yes, let's go ahead and eat. And you see that all, all but one. So let's. Uh, Let's snack on, uh, let's have the mushroom stew. Get the stew out of the way. Because I'll be honest, happy watcher, I'm not a big mushroom fan. At any event, I hope you learned something about hunger and saturation and what foods are best in this episode here today. Um, anything with protein, meats, will generally have a better saturation rate than carbs. So cookies and even potatoes are about middle range after you bake a potato. Um, so the, the fruits are just awful. They're all sugar juice. So take this knowledge, go forth, and um, have yourself a good time. Happy Minecrafting. Our very special thanks to Mojang, Open Broadcast Software, and Windows Live Movie Maker all for providing the software necessary to bring you this program. This episode has been brought to you by The Happy Minecrafter and watchers like you. Please like and or subscribe to show your support to your probably not local channel.